what were some references you used for developing the relationship between uh, Ron and this technology? Did you reference a lot of your own experience from your own kids, or was some of it other? Well, well, we do. We reference everything. I mean, you know, I, one of the really good references of very early for the beginning of Ron was the we talked about the Microsoft paperclip. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. it might pop onto your screen and go, "Hi, can I help you with that? Looks like you're writing a letter." You know, and it was that sort of slightly annoying, perky, <laughs> generic, straight out of the box voice. A lot of exclamation marks. Hi. A lot of exclamation marks. And of course, you know, all the other kids have these amazingly cool, personalised bots that know everything about him. And the idea that you get that generic one seemed like a really funny beginning because it was important at the beginning that it just felt like a disaster. This poor kid wanted one of these things that everyone else has and when he gets it it's a complete disaster and he has to sort of start from the ground up and they kind of learn about each other they come from a place of opposition as the best relationships kind of do right the most satisfying ones so that was a kind of a point of reference we watched every movie you know with with robots in but we also obviously et and all those movies where it's like what i call the one boy and his dog kind of movie, <laughs> you know that sort of special relationship we particularly like the idea that Ron is a bit wild and out of control mm. and a bit kind of rogue, especially for Barney, who's a little bit kind of cautious and keeps himself to himself. And suddenly he's got this thing that's completely out there and that would go up to strangers in the street and go, please be Barney's friend. And he's like, whoa, yeah. it takes him on this journey, you know.